What's up guys, it's James Disciple Johnson, national president and founder of Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club. And I wanna know what you think of the Mayans TV show. The Mayans is a TV show about a fictional club. It's a spinoff of Sons of Anarchy, and a lot of people are watching it. In fact, here at Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club, we've noticed an uptick in people who are trying to join our club. And when we started asking, why are we getting multiple dudes a day asking us about joining the club, we were like, oh, yeah, the Mayans. <laughs> now, if you've watched Sons of Anarchy, if you've watched the Mayans, if you've watched The Devil's Ride, there's a lot of shows out there about motorcycle clubs. And of course, for the most of us uh, who have lived the lifestyle or been around it at all, these shows are not necessarily helpful. For me as a Christian, they don't help me too much because they kind of connect me with an old lifestyle. Uh, and it doesn't, uh, it doesn't do me any good to watch that kind of stuff. And I would say that most MC guys also kind of think the same way. The, the Sons of Anarchy show is pretty silly. You got people out there running around trying to wear Sons of Anarchy on their back. I don't know if the same is going to happen with the Mayans. I'm going to start to run, up people, run into people out there with fictional Mayans MC colors on their back. But if that happens, you know, so be it. We'll uh, receive them with grace and love in Jesus' name. But... My point is, I don't really watch any of these shows, so I have no opinion. I've got a life. I go out and ride motorcycles. I've got brothers. I've got runs to go to. I've got stuff to do. I've got video to shoot. I don't have the time to watch the Mayans. If you think the Mayans are cool, leave a comment. Tell us what you think of them. Make sure you put it right down here in the comments line at the bottom. Say if it's thumbs up, thumbs down. Have you watched the show? What did you think? What I can say for sure is that people want brothers. People want brotherhood. People want Christian community. People want to ride their motorcycles and have someone cool to ride their motorcycles with. And that is what Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club is all about. It's not just about riding motorcycles, man. It's about the brotherhood. I don't like riding alone. To be perfectly honest, if I could, I'd have somebody riding next to me all the time. It's freaking awesome to have a brother next to you. I'm standing here right now. I've got a brother on the other side of the camera just chilling, watching me shoot. See, look, say hi to Disciple Retro. What's up, Retro? Why? Because I don't want to do things alone. That's why I started the club, so that I'd always have godly men to hang around with. So I'd always have brotherhood. And guys in the club, man, they're doing such a great job at being brothers. I mean, you think about the things that brothers in the club do. I can tell you, uh, I've had guys uh, help me out with my bike, rewire stuff when wiring goes wrong, help me out with my finances when I needed it, help me out when I'm depressed and down, just decide, hey, I'm going to go on a ride with you. I'm going to help you out and... Uh, spend the weekend with you, you know what, you feel depressed, uh, I'll come over and hang out with you. That's what brotherhood is about. And so my thing is, you know, don't watch a show, man. Go actually have some brothers. Share this video if you agree. Share this video if you think it's a lot better to go out and actually ride your motorcycle, have a good time, live life for Jesus Christ. Share this video because people should know. The Mayans is a show. We got the real deal, son. The real deal. Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club has spread our unique evangelism to disciple men to have a daily word and prayer time and to, to support the 1% world in prayer. And we've spread it all around the world. All around the world, they're disciples. We we're just talking today about what a great job our guy in Thailand is doing, baptizing people in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, laying hands on them and praying for them. He's seeing healings. He's seeing people converted from other religions to Christianity. He's seeing the power of God, man. And that's what happens when you hang out around people who take things seriously. Man, TV shows, I mean, all right. I mean, I, I'm not judging. If you want to chill with that, that's cool. I'd rather actually have real brotherhood. I'd actually rather ride handlebar to handlebar with my brothers. I'd actually rather come up with super cool stuff to do, like going camping and, uh, and uh, riding through the Blue Ridge Mountains. That's what it's about, man. Don't get stuck in a show. Come out and hang out with Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club. If you want to know more about Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club, go on our website at disciplechristianmc.com. Click the Contact Us link. Drill down to your country, to the state you're in. You'll be connected with your local disciple, and you'll be able to actually get involved. Whether you're just a prayer warrior for our club, whether you're somebody who just clicks like, share, subscribe, and follow on our pages so that you see what's going on, so you can pray for us when we're out and about doing things, or whether or not you get involved and you ride your motorcycle out and come out and have a great time with us. Brotherhood is real. Brotherhood is something you don't watch on TV, man. Let's get out there and do it for real. And let's have Christian accountability. Let's have Christian brothers, man. Let me tell you something. We, we got to make sure that the Christian lifestyle is lived with love. 
that the Christian lifestyle isn't about judging people and hating on people and coming up with reasons to argue over doctrine with people, that the Christian lifestyle is all about being brothers, being sisters, being part of each other's lives. You don't have Christian brotherhood by cutting people down and cutting them out of your life, man. That's not how you get friends. That's not how you get to be doing the powerful things that God has for you. You need people around you. Listen, my vision is so big, there's no way I could do it all by myself. There's no way I could go and ordain people in seven countries next year. I don't have the finances, I don't have the time, I don't have the ability, but I've got Christian brothers around me who just make it all happen. Man, we've got guys on the ground fighting the good fight, doing the brotherhood stuff, doing the Jesus stuff, getting out there and praying for people, going to the hospital when there's people down in the MC community, you know, going out there and doing weddings and funerals and all sorts of things, man, just sharing the love of Jesus Christ. And it's so important, man. That's what the Mayans don't have. You know what I'm here to tell you? The Mayans don't have that. They don't have the love and empathy and power of Jesus Christ, man. We've got that here at Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club. That's why I do this stuff stuff, man, because I'm surrounded by guys who are just on fire for Jesus on a regular basis, people who are excited about the things of God on a regular basis, people who are empowering other people to go out and do ministry. That's what it's all about for me, you know, not just the motorcycle club connection. It's great to have motorcycles, you know. Listen, that's how this thing all started. We love to ride motorcycles. We love Jesus Christ. It's all, it all came around because of motorcycles. But even more importantly, y'all, even more importantly, it's so important. We got to love people, man. We got to love people. We got to spend time with them. We got to eat meals with them. We got we to gotta pray for them, man. Instead of condemning and judging and casting people away from us and p kicking people out of our lives, we got to bring them in. That's why shows like Sons of Anarchy and the Mayans are so fascinating to people. That's why old school motorcycle clubs are so fascinating to people. Because there was brotherhood. Back in the day, we did party together. Back in the day, everything was cool. There wasn't wars. There wasn't problems. There wasn't fights, man. It was all about having a good time, man. And we've added that mix of Jesus Christ to the same thing. Let's love each other. The first century church loved each other. They spent time together. They broke bread together. They had all their stuff in common. They took care of people and that kind of thing. You know, so I think it's important, man, to realize that in a Christian motorcycle club, you not only have the brotherhood that you see on these shows, you not only have guys who will go straight to the wall for you, who would do anything to take care of you, provide for your family, watch out for your kids, that kind of thing. You also have not just the brotherhood, but you have Jesus Christ in the mix, man. And God, that, that adds so much, man. One plus one is two, but one plus God is like four billion. It's unbelievable. And so having the ability to have Christian men, you know, not perfect men, not per, listen, I'm not a perfect man. We're not a bunch of sinless dudes. Do you know why I post about stuff that I struggle with? Because I want you to understand that I have problems. You may see me as a man of God, but I see myself with some criticism and some condemnation. Why am I smoking? Why am I drinking? Why am I doing this? Why am I doing that? All the same stuff that you struggle with, I struggle with. I've just decided that even if I have problems, I'm going to go out and do the Jesus Christ thing. I'm going to go out and talk about the power of God. I'm going to go out there and live for Jesus. I'm going to talk about Jesus. I'm going to eat Jesus. I'm going to breathe Jesus. I'm going to read Jesus. I'm going to talk about it just has to be the most important thing in our lives. And when we do that, man, the love of God, the radical acceptance and love of God comes out of our heart and it comes into others, man. And that's the power of the Christian motorcycle club that I'm in. It's not just like the Mayans. We ride motorcycles and do stuff and maybe get in trouble. Uh, and we do sort of get in trouble. I see somebody just posted here. Why don't you allow law enforcement in your motorcycle club? Well, that's really simple. The place that I minister in the clubhouses, law enforcement's not allowed. I wouldn't be allowed either if I had law enforcement in my club. If you want to be in a law enforcement club, in Jesus' name, go and find you a law enforcement club and be in it, and you will not have access to do the ministry that we do. Sons of Anarchy guys wouldn't let law enforcement in their clubhouse either, y'all. Neither would the Mayans. Why? Because it's simple. That's not how they live. That's not how we live. That's not how we bring it about, man. What we bring in is the power and spirit of Jesus Christ, not law enforcement. So we would never have law enforcement in our club, man. It's just how it rolls. If you don't understand the MC community, you won't understand that. You'll judge us on that, and that's okay, man. But in Jesus' name, what we do roll with is...
the power and the brotherhood, the unity of the spirit, the ability for men of God to say, hey man, how can I pray for you? And then just lay hands on them. And Father, in Jesus' name, I ask you to touch their lives. Each one that's watching this video right now. And bam, the power of God gets involved, man. That's the cool thing. It's like worship music. You could listen to Guns N' Roses. It sounds good. You bang your head to it. But if you listen to worship music, you do it long enough, I guarantee you'll have tears streaming down from your eyes. You'll be feeling the power of the Holy Ghost flowing across you like warm oil. You'll be in the anointing of God, the Holy Spirit just drenching you. And you'll be, woo, glory to God, man. That's not, Guns N' Roses won't do that for you. It won't do it for you. It won't put you in the glory of God, man. But worship music does. And in the same way, it goes for the motorcycle club world. You get out there, man, and get God involved in what you're doing. Man, God loves people. God loves one percenters. God wants to bless his children. How do we get closer to being children of God? What do we talk about? What do we read? What do we go out and do? That's what makes the men around me so amazing. That's what makes the men around me so amazing. And what breaks my heart sometimes is I hear some of you get a hold of us and you're like, oh, I could never be as holy as you guys and I could never be as good as you guys. Listen, man, listen, we're not holy. We're not perfect. Only Jesus is holy. Only Jesus is perfect. His blood makes us holy. I plead the blood of Jesus over you right now that old things are passed away. Behold, all things are new that you will not walk in condemnation and criticism of your flesh, but that you walk in a newness of life, a desire and excitement for the things of God. Delight yourself in him and he will give you the desires of your heart, man. Just love God, love his people. Get about reading the word, fasting and praying, doing the stuff that's in the Bible and watch what he does in your life, man. It's so beautiful. It's just so beautiful. So yeah, you know, in synopsis, at the end of this thing, I'll say, I haven't seen the Mayans. I, 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 I don't watch TV. <laughs> I've got a life. I've got stuff I've got to do. I've got kids I've got to raise. I have spiritual sons I have to mentor. I need to be reading the word more, not watching more TV. I don't have time for it, man. I make TV in Jesus' name. I put out interesting content, man. I don't sit down on the couch and watch too much TV, man. I really never do. Uh, but, you know, I, I, I also have already lived that life. You know, I've already been in that place, man. I've already, I've already done those things. I've already you know, stood in places and, and done things. And, and, and I don't ever need to be reminded of it really. You know, I don't need to be reminded of that lifestyle at all. Personally, I don't need to, it's hard for me to go back into those places. Sometimes I'll be honest. When I go into clubhouses, there are times where I'm like, where I'm riding my motorcycle out thinking, man, I, I could go join a 1% a, a club, a secular club. You know, I've been offered, you know, I could go do that. I could go live that lifestyle. I, mean, I could be the Christian in the club, man. And I'll tell you, many guys from our club do. You've got multiple dudes that have left Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club and are out there in the 1% world now. Uh, multiple presidents, actually, of 1% clubs that are former disciples. And I'll tell you, um, you know, praise God for that. Praise God for that. If we ordain them and send them out and, and they're doing a great job for the kingdom of God, praise God. If not, we bless them anyway in Jesus name. But that's the kind of guys we are. You know, we can move freely in that world. I'd like to think that anybody who joins Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club is the kind of man who could join a 1% club. And uh, so, you know, that's the, that's the kind of guys that we are. But that's a lifestyle I personally can't be around a lot. You know, I have to have brothers with me. You know, when I go into those, into those places, man, it's better for me personally, because there's, you know, there's a lot of temptations there for me personally, you know? And so I don't even watch those shows, man. I can't even watch those shows. We got stuff to do, man. The, the harvest is white and the workers are few, man. Uh, I encourage you, if you've enjoyed this video, share it out if, and make donations to our organization so that we can continue doing what it is that we're doing. Going around the world, talking about Jesus and leading motorcycle club community folks to the Lord and spending time with them, building those relationships. I want you to go to our Facebook, our YouTube, our Google and put in Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club. I want you to share it on your Facebook. I want you to tell people that you know that we exist.